Yeah, so let's just start with the big news here. Obviously, this week, join OCR for next year. So, you know, pretty exciting you know, development there. So, you know, how, how did it really come together for you? I mean, we, uh, you know, we've been looking at, um, you know, what to do for the future and what makes sense for uh, long term and hopefully keep me in the sport for a while. So, uh, you know, wanted to make sure, um, you know, we found a place that uh, was a good fit for me. And um, so I think we found that there. But uh, so I'm definitely looking forward to that. But uh, you know, excited about what we've got going on right now, too, for this year. Yeah, absolutely. What kind of relationship have you had with Richard Childress? You know, have you have you met with him? You know, has he really been paying attention to you the last couple of years? Well, I, I, uh, I, mean, I guess I don't know too much about the past, but I got to meet him. Um, you know. Uh, this past week and uh, you know I've had uh, dialogue with the team and stuff um, before then so uh, you know it's been uh, it's been good they've all been uh, very accepting of me very excited to have me over there and it's uh, been the same for my side I mean, I'm really um, excited to be a part of it next year yeah another guy who you know pretty well is Daniel Hamrick you're gonna be you know teaming up with him for next year uh, he's got quite a bit of experience in the trucks and now Xfinity so when it comes to working with him you know how much are you looking forward to that it seems like a pretty good, nice guy yeah no for sure we got to spend some time together uh, this year at, um, in Cincinnati doing one of the Kentucky race advantage so uh, it seems like a great guy and you know he's got so much car knowledge so I think um, you know things he's learned over the years of building cars building late models uh, will, will help me uh, understand a little bit more of the moving parts of these cars and uh, you know anything I can do to learn more is a great thing and so I think he'll be a, a, a great person and um, you know from what I've uh, been able to talk to him about before it seems like he'll be a really good teammate for bouncing ideas off of and you're gonna have a full-time teammate, actually. You know, someone who's actually stable with you every week. So, do you feel that that's gonna be a big benefit for next year? Yeah, that'll be huge. It'll be. Uh that will be nice just for, um, you know, just going for, you know, driver's meetings, having uh, someone to bounce uh, stuff off of all the time. And uh, it'll be it'll be really good to have another person um, in there kind of going to battle with us. Yeah, obviously your biggest goal is to move to the Monster Energy Cup Series. Do you feel like RCR is a good path, you know, a more realistic path to get to the Cup Series in, in the near future for you? I mean, I, I hope so. I don't know the future, but uh, I, I certainly hope so. Yeah, and obviously, you know, we still got a few races left to go here. You know, you're right in the playoff battle, but you've had you've had a good year. You've been able to string together some more top ten. So when it comes to you know getting the gears rolling in this season in this 19, you know, how are you feeling right now? You know, getting into this getting into this weekend. I feel really good about it. I mean, we have. Uh Obviously, we have a little bit of a cushion, not a huge cushion, so we know we still have to have a good day. Um, either way, you know, we got to get some stage points. Uh, if we make it in the second round, we're going to be at quite a bit of a gap for getting into Homestead, just starting off with the stage points. So we got to be able to go capitalize on those. Um, that'll be huge. That'll be a really big deal. So um, we got to do that for sure. Uh, but I feel good about it. Um, you know, I don't know what time we're going to get this thing going today, but uh, it'll be a little bit different conditions than we had yesterday. But we had pretty limited practice yesterday. And Anyways, so, um, but it seems like our piece so far is really good and um, seems more um, just stable right off the truck than we were in the spring. So I think uh, Matt Beckham did a really good job and all the engineering guys of uh, getting a, a car together that, uh, you know, just from learning from the nests we had last spring or this spring here. Yeah, yeah. How how important is it to end the season strong? You know, it's a, it's a big move, obviously, for, for a younger driver who's gaining experience. So when it comes to ending the season strong, momentum and confidence-wise for next year, you know, it, has it really changed your mindset to push even further for this year? Well, I think a little bit. I mean, part of it's just, you know, it's the playoffs and you want to be able to perform. And um, I think another part of it is I, I think we have kind of finally gotten our chemistry together and where we're clicking on the on the right uh, pages together. And, um, you know, we're at a, a spot right now where we have had some consistency and we're having better speed right off the truck and uh, we're making good adjustments. And I think that's uh, that's been a lot of the second half of the year. We just didn't have go things uh, have things go well at the first part of it, you know, past the summer. But uh, we're finally getting, you know, just kind of more normal type of weekends, I guess. So uh, that's good. But um, no, it's big to have momentum going uh, for us. And I want to be able to keep that going through the rest of the year. It's a big confidence booster if we can do that. And you want to be able to show teams that you can do it and uh, show our group next year that we can do that and have reasonable uh, goals that we can um, achieve. And, you know, if we can run really well these uh, weekends, hopefully we can pick up a year by the, uh, a win by the end of the year. But if not, uh, learn a lot for myself to be able to take uh, next year uh, to be able to get a feel that I'm looking for in 2018. Yeah, is it maybe a little bit frustrating because as you said, you're building something with this team. Do you feel like you're maybe going to have similar struggles to start next season? Or do you feel like you as a driver has been able to develop enough where you're going to go into a new team and be more ready than possibly you were this year? Yeah, I mean, from what I've understood so, uh, so far, it sounds like I'll be you know kind of plugging into an experienced team. So mm -hmm. uh, that's, uh, you know, that's really good. I'm The only thing that changes is me in there. So they have the notes that they want to go off of and they have, um, you know, the changes that they want to work through. And uh, so that, you know, 
know, that's a good thing. I, I, it's not, um, you know, I'm not worried about that at all. I think it'll just be figuring out a little bit in the in the beginning of hey, what's you know, what's my driving style based on what uh, their cars drive like. I don't know, I don't know what their cars drive like. So uh, that'll be an adjustment for sure. But um, you know, working with anybody new is is a little bit of an adjustment with that. Yeah. And final question. You know, the importance of as we said, you know, building momentum for next year, but getting a win. For Joe Gibbs Racing, you know, he's done a lot for your career this last, you know, year and a half or two years. So when it comes to getting a win for him before you make this move, you know, is that obviously that has to be, you know, very high on your on your priority list. Oh, no, for sure. I uh, definitely want to get a win before the year's over. It's, yeah. um, you know, it'd be great to do that with with this group of guys. And uh, we're all working towards that every single weekend. Otherwise, we wouldn't show up to the track. So, yeah. um, you know, we uh, we want to be able to do that for sure. And hopefully it's us in the final four at Homestead and winning a, a championship there. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely appreciate your time. Yeah. Yeah, best luck uh, tonight, Paul. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah.